Welcome to this how-to video on creating Pareto charts. You can download the exercise workbook to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. A Pareto chart is used to see how many dimension items, such as products, are contributing to what percentage of an overall measure, such as sales. Pareto charts are often used in conjunction with the 80-20 rule, which states that 80% of sales come from 20% of customers, or 80% of value comes from 20% of content, etc. To make a Pareto chart, we'll use table calculations to compute the percent of total of the running total for both the measure and the count distinct of the dimension. Our Pareto will deal with products and sales. We'll bring product ID to columns and choose Add All Members, dismissing the warning. We'll bring sales to rows, sort sales descending, and we'll fit the width. Next, we want to calculate the running percent of total sales. Right click on the sales pill and add a quick table calculation for running total. Right click on the same pill again and select Edit Table Calculation. Click Specific Dimensions and verify that product ID is checked, making this an addressing field. We'll check the box to add a secondary calculation, and for the type of secondary calculation, we'll choose Percent of Total. Now we need to change the x axis from a sorted list of product IDs to display a percent of total as well. Control click to drag a copy of the sorted product ID pill from the columns shelf to the details shelf. Right click on product ID on the columns shelf and change the aggregation to count distinct. We'll now do the same thing we did for sales, calculating the percent of running total. Right click and add a quick table calculation for running total. Edit the table calculation. Verify that specific dimensions has product ID checked. And add a secondary calculation for percent of total. Finally, we'll change the mark type to a line. This is the core of a Pareto chart. A true Pareto chart has both the line as well as a bar chart. To add the bar chart, we'll bring a new copy of sales to the rows shelf. Right click on this copy of sales and choose dual axis. On the marks card for this sum of sales, we'll change the mark type to be bar. And we want to size the bars to be manual and pretty tiny. Right click on the right hand sales axis and select Move Marks to Back, and then again to uncheck Show Header. Let's change our colors so our line is blue. Finally, we can add a reference line to illustrate the 80 20 rule. Click on the Analytics tab and bring out a constant line to the distinct count of product ID and enter 0.2. Bring out another constant line to the sum of sales with the table calc, indicated by the delta, and set the value to 0.8. As we can see in this data set, we need closer to 28% of our product IDs to get 80% of our sales. As a quick recap, to make a Pareto chart, Use table calculations to compute the percent of total of the running total for both the measure and the count distinct of the dimension. Bring a new copy of sales out and make it a bar chart underneath the line. And add reference lines for 20% of the dimension, it's count distinct, and 80% of the measure. Thank you for watching this how to video on Pareto charts. We invite you to continue with the free training videos to learn more about using Tableau.